Welcome back. We are still on the topic statistics. In the previous video, we learned how to use the assumed mean method to find the mean of a given distribution. In this video, we are going to learn how to find the mode of a given distribution. The mode or the modal value of a set of numbers is the number which has the highest frequency. So when you have a distribution, the number with the highest frequency or the number that occurs most is the mode of the distribution. Let's learn some few things about the mode. When all the terms in a set of numbers have a frequency of 1, the mode of the data does not exist. So when you are given a set of numbers and all of them are having a frequency of 1, it means that that particular set of numbers does not have a mode. The mode does not exist. And another thing about the mode is that the mode of a data may be more than 1. There can be a case where the highest frequency occurs at more than one place. In that case, the mode will be more than one. Let's apply what we have learned here to solve some questions. Let's consider this question. Find the mode of 3, 4, 3, 4, 5, 3, 6. Just as we have learned, the mode of these set of numbers will be the number that occurs most. So I'm going to have a simple two column table here with the numbers in the first column and the frequencies in the second column. The numbers we have here are 3, 4, 5, and 6. When we go through them, we can see that 3 occurs 1, 2, 3 times. So the frequency for 3 is 3. 4 occurs 1, 2. So the frequency for 4 is 2. 5 occurs once and 6 occurs once. So 3 is having a frequency of 3, 4 is having a frequency of 2, 5 is having a frequency of 1, and 6 is having a frequency of 1. The mode is the number with the highest frequency. As we can see from this table, the number with the highest frequency is 3 because 3 occurs 3 times, which is the highest. So it means that the mode of this set of numbers is 3. Let's consider another question. Find the mode of 4, 2, 2, 5, 2, 6, 5, 2, 5, 3, 4. So here to our draw a simple two column table here. The numbers we have are 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. When you go through the numbers, you can see that 2 occurs 4 times, 3 occurs once, 4 occurs twice, 5 occurs 3 times, and 6 occurs once. And as you can see, the number with the highest frequency is 2 because 2 occurs 4 times, which is the highest. So it means that the mode of this distribution is the number with the highest frequency. Remember, it is not the frequency which is 4, but the number with the highest frequency. And the number with the highest frequency here is 2. So it means that the mode is 2. Let's consider another question. Find the mode of these set of numbers. Once again, I'll have my simple two-column table. The numbers are 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When we go through them, we can see that 15 occurs five times, 16 occurs five times, 17 occurs once, 18 once, 19 once, and 22 times. As you can clearly see, the highest frequency here is 5 and 15 occurs 5 times and 16 also occurs 5 times. So here, 
the mode of this distribution will be 15 and 16 because the highest frequency is 5 and 15 occurs 5 times and 16 also occurs 5 times so the mode is 15 and 16 let's consider another one find the mode of these sets of numbers i have my table here the numbers are 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 when you go through them you can see that all of them occurs once so two occur once three once four once all of them occur just once so as you can see every single one of them is having a frequency of one we have learned that if this is the case then the mode does not exist if you have a distribution where every number occurs just once it means that the mode does not exist let's consider another question here we have a frequency table the frequency table below give the ages of pupils in a class find the modal age so we have the ages and their corresponding frequencies just as we have learned the mode is the number with the highest frequency so here the modal age will be the age with the highest frequency when we look through the frequencies we can see that the highest frequency is 35 and the age with the highest frequency which is 35 is 15 so it means that the modal age is 15 years remember the mode is not 35 which is the frequency 35 is the highest frequency and the age that gives you the highest frequency is 15 so it means that the modal age is 15 which occurs 35 times let's consider another question the table below shows the scores of 15 students in a biology test find the modal score so we have the scores and the number of students the number of students is the same as the frequencies the modal score will be the score with the highest frequency when we look through the frequencies we can see that the highest frequency is 5 the score that gives us 5 is 4 so it means that the modal score is 4 because it is the score with the highest frequency let's consider another question the table below shows the distribution of the masses of parcels in a local post office find the modal class so in the table we have the masses given to us in intervals and the frequencies now you can see that here the question is not asking us to find the modal mass but it says we should find the modal class this is because in the table the masses is given to us in class intervals so we, from the table we can only find the modal class the modal class will be the class with the highest frequency so you go through the frequencies and you can see that the highest frequency is 29 and the class that gives us this highest frequency is 40 to 44 kilograms so it means that the modal class is 40 to 44 kilograms as you can see from the question we have here when the distribution is given to you in intervals just as we have here you can only find the modal class from the table but what if we want the modal mark the actual value the modal value how are we going to do that in that case we can find the mode using a histogram drawn from the distribution so we can use a histogram to find the modal mark of a grouped data let's learn how to do that mode from a histogram let's assume that this is the histogram for a particular distribution we have the frequencies on the vertical axis and the marks on the horizontal axis 
To find the mode from a histogram, the first thing you have to do is to locate the highest bar. So you go through the bar that you've drawn and then you locate the highest one. In this particular example, this is the highest bar. After locating the highest bar, you draw a line from this end to the tip of the bar to the left and then you draw a line from this end to the tip of the bar to the right just as we have here so you locate the highest bar and then you draw a line from this point to the tip of the bar on the left then after that you draw a line from this point to the tip of the bar on the right those two lines will intersect where they intersect you trace it to meet the horizontal axis and then you read the value there that value will give you the mode or the modal value this is how to find the mode from a histogram let's apply it to some questions and see let's consider this question draw a histogram to represent the data below find the modal age from the histogram so in the table we have the ages of some workers given to us in intervals and then we have the number of workers from the table we can only find the modal class the modal class will be the class with the highest frequency and as we can see the class with the highest frequency is 20 to 24 because the highest frequency is 11 and that class is 20 to 24 so it means that the modal age is between 20 to 24 but that gives us the class the question wants us to find the actual modal age and we can do that from the histogram so we are going to use the histogram to find the actual modal age i've already explained how to draw a histogram for a given distribution in the previous videos so i'm not going to go through the process in this video i'm going to assume that by this time you already know how to draw a histogram so i'll go ahead and consider the second part of the question which is finding the modal age from the histogram this is the histogram for the distribution. We have learned that to find the modal value from a histogram, the first thing you have to do is to locate the highest bar on the histogram. Here, as you can clearly see, this is the highest bar. After locating the highest bar, you draw a line from this point to the tip of the bar to the left, and then you draw a line from this point to the tip of the bar to the right those two lines will intersect here they intersect at this point then you trace it to the horizontal axis and then you read the value there here when i do it and trace it to the horizontal axis the value i'm having is 23.5 it means that from this histogram the modal age is 23.5 years as you can see from the table, the modal class was 20 to 24. So it means the modal age was between 20 to 24. And as you can clearly see, 23.5 is between 20 to 24. So the table gave us the modal class, but from the histogram, we can actually find the modal age, which is 23.5 years. Let's consider another question. The following is a record of marks obtained by 50 students in a chemistry test. So it goes on and on. It says, draw a histogram for the distribution. We have already learned how to do that. What we are going to concentrate on is the last part, which is that find the modal mark from the histogram. So I'm going to go ahead with the drawing of the histogram because I know that by this time you already know how to do it. So this is the histogram for the distribution. We are going to use the histogram to find the modal mark. As we have learned to find the modal mark, you first have to locate the tallest bar. As you can clearly see, this is the tallest bar. Then you draw a line from this point to this point, just as we can see. And then after that, you draw another one from this point to this point here. Those two lines will intersect they intersect at this point then you trace it to meet the horizontal axis 
and then you read the value there. Here, when I trace it to meet the horizontal axis and I read the value there, I'm having 43.5. It means that from the histogram, the modal mark is 43.5%. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In this video, we have learned how to find the mode of a given distribution. In the next video, we are going to learn how to find the median of a given distribution. Bye-bye.